Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and it's good to be able to enter in to, or to, to ask a question during the debate on the Budget Implementation Act. Um, I, I listened with great interest about uh, uh, the, the, the member's speech, and uh, I am curious as to her thoughts about uh, an increasing challenge uh, that's related to Canadian society, and that's inflation. That inflation is, is, is something that uh, when it takes place, it, uh, generally the only people that benefit are those who are, are wealthier that own assets, um, whereas uh, for, for regular, regular Canadians, especially those who... Uh, who uh, are are middle and lower income are those who most often uh, face the most significant consequences from inflation. So I'd ask the member um, opposite if uh, she shares those concerns about the what uh, seems to be uh, the uh, circumstances that would see uh, a growth in the inflation rate in our country. The Honourable Member for Davenport. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Chair, and I want to thank the Honourable Member for his excellent question. I do think it's, it's um, I think the cost of everything is absolutely top of mind for everyone. It's definitely uh, top of mind for those who live in my riding. I'll mention a couple of things uh, to the Honourable Member um, through you, Madam Speaker. One is I know that the Governor of the Bank of Canada is very much keeping an eye on that. Um, and so I think it's important to know that we have leaders that are keeping a, 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 an eye out on that. I think the other thing that I would say is that um, all the measures that we've put in place to support Canadians through this pandemic has has helped those on the lower end and the, our most vulnerable Canadians. So it has helped keep them with uh, a sustained quality of life and to be able to ensure that they are able to afford to put food on the table and to pay rent and that we've been successful uh, in doing so but through all the emergency supports that 